Hey, I'm RC and I just want to announce that I'm starting a new YouTube series called How It's Made in Ringing Chain. So I got a lot of viewers asking me how certain features were implemented in my MMORPG Ringing Chain. And the problem is, um, I cannot really cover those advanced topics in my current single player and multiplayer series because the topics are too complex. It would take way too long for me to really show you how to make them and on top of that um, certain feature requires other features to be, to be already implemented and it's not the case with the current um, code base of those series um, so it's really I simply cannot talk about them in those series so what I'm planning to do is to start this new series that will allow me to cover in detail more advanced uh, feature and topics so one thing to know about this new series is that it's not going to be in the same format than the other series. So first of all, this um, series will be aimed towards more advanced um, programmers. So people who have already a quite decent video game and they want to improve it and they don't really know how to implement certain features. So th this is for um, this series will be for those um, type of people. Of course, if you're a new coder, it's still um, pretty good to have a rough idea of all the different feature but some of them you will probably not be able to implement it or at least not easily um, and most of the time there are some stuff that I do for Rain Engine which will most likely be overkill for um, your own video game for example I use custom compression and stuff like that that I would not recommend for a small game but for a game of the size of Rain Chain, it's worth um, Doing. So anyway, I'm gonna go over um, the Raining Chain overview. So do an overview of the overview real quick. So first we got the software. So as you can see, I do not use Notepad++ even though that's what I use in my tutorial series. And the reason is when I switch with um, to TypeScript. So back in the days, the game was made in JavaScript and now it's made in TypeScript. It's pretty much the same. There's some minor difference, but in TypeScript, Visual Studio Code is a lot better and so here's the software, the libraries. There's a lot more libraries than that, obviously. Um, those are the main ones. Like in Gulp alone for task automation, I got like 10 tools or libraries. The services, and there we go, the topics. So server, um, not, not sure how much detail I want to go into. You can simply um, access the, the page. It will be in, in the description, obviously. And um, for example, in Rain Engine, there's two entirely different type of server because I got two entirely different set of tasks. So one of them is to send files to client and one of them is to handle game logic. So because those are two separated tasks, it's better to split them. Anyway, I don't want to get too much into that file. Uh, file system a little bit tricky because like I said, I'm using TypeScript. So everything needs to be compiled before um, being pushed on the server and on the server what you want to do is to pack all the file into one file so it's last um, queries to the server MongoDB quite standard um, data communication difference detection map image map image is a little bit cool because the I know in the tutorial series what I do is I create a, a TMX file with the map editor tile and then what we do in the series is that we convert it to an image and we send the image to the client. In Rain Chain, it's a little bit different because I don't want to host like a lot of image on the server because it takes a lot of space and it's kind of annoying to update them. So what I do is that the client creates the image based on the TMX file on the fly. So it's really cool. And then there's the UI. Most of the question from the, the viewers were about the user interface. Um, so I'm using the library, everything in Raining Chain. So all the UI is in HTML. I've already mentioned that in the tutorial series, but I want to say it again. So everything you see over here, over there, this is all in um, HTML. And the library I'm using to sync all the, the values is called uh, Vue.js. It's really cool. Like you update, it's very easy to update. Um, what is being shown on the screen. Rendering, rendering is done with WebGL. So in the tutorial series, once again, uh, what we are using is canvases with like CDX, fill text and stuff like that. But in Rain Chain, 
I'm using WebGL. So there's a lot of advantage um, to WebGL. First one is performance, and there's also certain operation that um, are a lot faster in WebGL or simply not possible otherwise. But it's a lot more complex. You cannot just write WebGL easily. You need to use like a library or be very good. <laughs> Quest, map logic, pathfinder, pets, boost, collision. Collision is uh, something that I guess most video games will have, so I'm probably gonna cover that pretty soon. Achievement, inventory, and that's pretty much it. So how it's gonna work is that um, in every video I'm gonna cover one of those um, topics and basically what you need to do right now is to post a comment about what topic you want me to cover in the first episode. And based on the comments I will choose um, the topic I will cover. So thanks a lot for watching and see ya!